Yes, yeah, so hi everybody, this is Paul here and I'm in Oslo, Norway at the moment where we've just finished a weekend retreat, a very nice retreat with a group of about uh, 20, 25 people or so. And one of the things that came up regularly on the retreat was trauma and inner, inner child healing. And this is something that comes up regularly on retreats and regularly when I speak to people, often people who have been involved with spirituality for a long time. And often people wonder how to uh, meet and embrace trauma and inner child work from a spiritual perspective. Uh, because often it seems like self-help work is based on trauma and inner child work and spirituality is kind of an avoidance of that. But for me, I, I don't feel that at all. And I feel that these two areas, they go hand in hand. They go together very, very well. Especially when we can discern the difference between our beingness and our person. Let me just say a little bit about what I mean by that. So, for example, if we can feel within ourself a lot of trauma or uh, an inner child that, that is afraid or some kind of, um, some aspect of ourselves that feels very stuck or very broken. Here comes a plane. Then the first thing to do is to fully acknowledge that it is there. To just begin to feel that and open to that and get in touch with that. At the same time as getting in touch with your trauma and in touch with your pain and your struggle, I would be encouraging you to see if you can feel your own presence or your own stillness and see if it's possible to begin to bring the stillness and the presence to the pain. So then you're not identified with the pain, but you're identified more as presence or stillness that is bringing a kind of natural healing to that pain. And the more you're able to do this, and the more you're able to just sit with yourself, just be still, just be quiet, even if you're moving millimeter by millimeter inside of you, even if you're beginning to open up to parts of yourself which you feel were so closed and so cut off, then the more you're able to do that, then naturally more space is going to come inside you. More openness is going to come inside you. And more peace is going to come inside you. I think the greenkeeper is coming now. I'm on the golf course. Uh, he's passing by. There may even come a time inside yourself where you feel like so much of the pain and so much of the trauma that you've held inside the body just releases itself. And as it releases itself, again, you find yourself in a very deep sense of peace and, and stillness and silence. So I just wanted to share this because I feel that spirituality and self-healing or self-developmental work, I feel that they can go together. I don't feel that they're opposites. All I am suggesting is that you be clear about where the identity is. Because if you identify fully with your trauma and your pain, then you will not be able to access the deeper presence which is able to hold it and meet it. So I encourage people, first find your own presence. First find your own stillness. Then shine the light of that recognition on your humanness. And then somehow you become fully human and fully divine. You've got your feet right on earth, yet you've recognized that something is completely untouched by it all.
And for me, that is authentic spirituality. That is grounded spirituality. And that is what the meaning of embodied presence is. To bring that presence to every aspect of your own humanness. So I think I'd better go because I'm on the golf course. And it's my shot. So I wanted to share that. And um, love to everybody. Thank you very much to the people that came onto the retreat in Norway. It was very beautiful. And uh, we're looking forward to coming to Stockholm at the end of September. Okay, bye-bye.